Hi guys, so this week's video is a scroller box video. I'm really excited. I'm just about to open my scroller box for the first time and I really, really wonder to see what I have. So I'm gonna get my knife. And I'm just gonna cut at the sellotape. I was just wondering where the sellotape starts and ends. I've blacked out my address again. For safety precautions. Okay. Oh, look at that! Oh my god, just... Okay, first of all, look at this for a start. This is beautiful. Oh wow. Another person from the UK, yay. Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh, I love it. That is awesome. Oh, we have, first of all, we have paper. That's good. And there's two sheets, so I don't mess up. Okay. Okay. I wonder what's in here. Okay. I already have one of these. <laughs> I use this constantly. Oh my God. This is a Uni Kurutoga in 0 0.5. I already have one of these. That's awesome. Now I have a spare one just in case I lose mine. I've loved these. These are um, mechanical pencils. Oh my god, I didn't expect to have another one. And then we have the Kurutaki. Well, the Zig. Zig Kurutaki. Mangaka. 0 0.5 pen. No, 0 0.5 pen in purple. Oh wow, there's like loads of different brush pens. It's so cool. And there's a di there's another white gel pen. That's great. Ironically, I just placed an order for some more gel pens. Not this specific kind of gel pen, but I just placed an order for new ones. Cuz mine ran out during a live stream. This is the hybrid gel grip. Now this would be really interesting because I've never tried this kind of gel pen. And then we have some Kurutaki Zig clean colour like, clean colour brush pens. Now Jenna, I think, has really, really raved about these. That she really, really likes these. So I'm actually really happy to get some so I can try them out and see how they actually perform. I'm really excited. So, yeah. We got another sticker. I have three of them now. And I also have a suite of sour shockers. So this just tells, tells you what I have. It's 180 GSM white paper. Wow, that's, that's more than average. Like average paper is 140 GSM, I know that. So. What is the challenge? The challenge is Sweet Sunday. Okay. It's summertime, and with the help of our featured artist, we are giving you tools and inspiration to create something bright and delicious. Even if the sun isn't shining where you are, use these supplies to produce an artistic gem to brighten up your summer. That is so cute! Oh my god, it's, it, you know what it reminds me of? Like, it reminds me of the kawaii challenge. It's similar, but not quite the same. This one has more of a sweet treat element to it. So, yes, let's get started. So first, I started off with my purple fine liner. Well, it's actually called violet, but I called it purple earlier. So, yeah, I started off with purple, and... Honestly, I have to say that the purple liner, I have never done purple liner and 
I'm actually really liking it. I don't know whether I'll do it more in the future, but it actually looks pretty decent. I actually really like it. So the sketch itself was actually done with the Kurutoga pencil. Now, I did not film it because when I'm like tracing one of my sketches from my sketchbook onto a final piece of paper to do the illustration on, it's a lot easier for me not to film because it's just, it's more comfortable for me to do it that way. So that's what I did. I had the sketch all prepped and plus it was on a live stream and doing that on a live stream really, really messes with the white balance and the contrast of the video feed and it, it's just a big pain in the butt basically. So I did that beforehand. So finishing off the purple line art. Going into it, you can see that there are other things other than the brush pens. Now I mainly use the brush pens, but to complement the brush pens, I did pick out a few markers to actually give a softer impression. So like with the blue, I picked a Letra Set Cool Aqua color and the pink of the hair that is gonna be coming I picked RV10, I think. Yeah, the t-shirt was, well, the top part of the dress was actually RV13 that I picked out. But yeah, the hair was RV10. I also picked out some turquoises because there was some turquoise in the original picture, in the, in the inspiration picture. So I thought I might as well stick to the same color scheme. So with the skin color, I picked out E. E50. I was about to say E00 then. No, I didn't. It was E50. <laughs> because it was lighter than the than the brush pen itself. So I really enjoyed doing this. It was really, really fun. It was a very different experience. And I can see why Jenna raves about these these pens because they are really nice to work with. They did take a bit of getting used to though. And I had to try and make use of it. The only thing that I would have to say is that I thought the pink was a little bit too neon for my liking. But it worked out alright in the end. I, th I think it's alright. It was nice. For the background, I know I'm rushing a little bit again, but... Um, with the background, I didn't really want to do any bright, vibrant colours or I didn't want to add any more, any more kind of like markers than I needed to. So I decided to go with like outline. I decided to do all the sweets and treats that you get in summertime. Well, my childhood sweets in summertime. So there was like flying saucers, there was like little Haribo fried eggs, little love hearts, just so many different things. And around the girl, the girl by the way, is a design that was based on a concept from a live stream from Failed Artists live stream called Sprinkle Girl. And she's based on sweets and treats and desserts and stuff like that. And this is just my interpretation of that. So behind Sprinkle Girl, or sprinkles as somebody liked to call her on my live stream while I was doing this was you have a lollipop you have some candy floss and also a stick of rock if you don't know what a stick of rock is it's basically a candy cane sold at seaside towns in the UK so my grandmother always used to buy me sticks of rock from seaside towns and she always used to give it to her grandchildren when she came home. It's just, it was so sweet. I, it was childhood for me. They're basically candy canes. They're, they're most of the time pink, but I decided to do it red and white because I just wanted to. <laughs> but yeah, here I'm adding all the background. I'm sorry, I just got a bit tongue-tied. <laughs> so with the with the highlights I did like little bubbles and adding all the highlights and stuff like that yeah 
So that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this illustration. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed the double upload this week.